Hey, good to see you again. So to get started, tell me about what you've been working on this week. Well, uh, this week we started a new initiative called The Great Experiments, where we're building prototypes, we're writing about it, we're sharing what we learn. So part of this week, I had to write a blog post, which is something I've done in a long time. That sounds like an exciting initiative. Diving back into writing after a break can definitely feel a bit daunting. How did you feel about writing that blog post? What was the experience like for you? Um, it was okay. I think the hardest part was finding that balance between should I make this sound more like my voice or should it sound more like a corporate blog? You know, the typical things that you'd see from a marketing um you know, from our marketing team, I think finding that balance was a little bit tricky. That's a really common challenge, especially when you're trying to maintain authenticity while also fitting into a certain professional mold. How did you navigate that? What approach did you end up taking with the tone of your blog post? Um, so I tried to incorporate a few more elements that I think sounded more like me, uh, things that I would naturally say. Um, I think there's lots of noise in marketing right now, especially around these topics. So I wanted to uh, wanted to avoid kind of more of the marketing esque and just make it sound more like me. So I, I had to go through afterwards and take out things that have that were things that I obviously would not say. I had to kind of edit those and make it sound a little bit more like me. That sounds like a thoughtful approach. Striking that balance between personal voice and professional expectations can really help in making your content stand out and feel genuine. Reflecting on this process, how do you feel about the final version of the blog post? Do you think it represents your voice well while still aligning with the company's image? Yeah, I, I think um, it was a good balance and I'm feeling good about it. I'm uh, excited to do more and get in a good rhythm and build a little bit of confidence just in this new format and writing about these new topics. Um, so yeah, excited, feeling good about it and excited to do more. That's fantastic to hear. It sounds like you're really embracing this new challenge and turning it into an opportunity for growth. As you continue to write and share your thoughts, what are some areas you think you might want to explore or improve upon in your writing process? Oh, um, good question. I haven't thought too much I haven't thought too much about it. I don't know if I really have a process right now. So I'd love to, I'd love to establish a process. Um, I'd say this first time it was just haphazard and kind of, yeah, wasn't following a strict process. So I think finding a process that works for me uh, will make it a lot easier uh, going forward. Absolutely. Establishing a consistent writing process can definitely help streamline your efforts and reduce the feeling of chaos. Let's think about what a potential process could look like for you. Typically, it's helpful to start with gathering your ideas, maybe through brainstorming or mind mapping. How do you usually come up with ideas? Do you prefer to jot things down as they come or set aside time to think through topics systematically? Um, I tend to just jot things down as they come. I have a notebook in front of me. Um, you know, I also jot down a lot of ideas uh, at night when I'm going to bed. Um, so yeah, I tend to just jot them down as they, as they come to me. That's a great start. Using a notebook to capture ideas as they come can be very effective. To build on that, you might consider setting aside some time to review and organize these ideas periodically. This could be once a week or even bi-weekly, depending on your schedule. During this time, you can categorize the ideas, decide which ones to develop further, and plan out your writing schedule. How does that sound? Do you think this kind of routine could work for you? Yeah, I like it. Um, you know, I think aligning a process to my actual work calendar is a nice uh, way to create some accountability and stick to it. Um, so yeah, I think I could figure out what are kind of the milestones or the key activities of whatever I want the process to be and reflect those on my calendar. Um, that's probably a good place to start. That sounds like a solid plan. Integrating your writing process into your work calendar not only creates accountability, but also ensures that you allocate specific time blocks for your writing, making it a priority. As you define those milestones or key activities, consider including stages like initial brainstorming, first draft, review and editing, and final proofreading. This structured approach can help you manage each phase without feeling overwhelmed 